Hey guys, welcome back to Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you by you. I am your host, Ronnie McBride, and today I'm going to pull a question from the forum. And the question is, how do I put text on a path? Now, this is a feature that everybody's been asking for in the forums. Every time somebody new comes in and they rave about the application, then they get to the text tool and they're like, I can't put text on a path. How do I do that? Uh, unfortunately, it's not natively available within Affinity Designer right now, but it is on the roadmap and it will be there soon. I'm not quite sure how soon that'll be, but it will be there soon. And they do hear our cries. But in the meantime, I may have a solution for you guys to be able to get text on a path. It's not going to work for everybody's situation, but it may work in your particular situation. I'm going to show you how to do it with a stroke brush. Okay, so I have some text here that I wrote out. Okay, text on a path, fitting, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export that. Uh, PNG is fine, and I purposely made it black background, white text. And if you don't know why I did that, definitely take a look at my Arrow tutorial. Now, um, I already did a sample here, but it's okay. I'm just going to over overwrite it. It's fine. And say replace. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say new texture intensity brush. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and select that PNG that I exported. Okay. So now I'm going to turn this text off and I'm going to draw a circle like so. And I'm going to click on this and you see something is happening here, but you can't quite see what. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll increase the font size. Okay. And see, I got text on the path there. Okay. And I'm going to switch this from stretch to repeat. Okay. So that's a little bit cleaner. Okay. So there you have it. I have text on a path. And it's no different from if I drew a path as well, too. So let me give you an example of that. And apply that stroke to it. Same deal here. Um, you could also change the cap here to have a little bit more control on that line, right? Okay, so um, that's how you get text on a path. And the reason why I did it as white on black is because I wanted to make it a texture intensity brush. And when you make a texture intensity brush, what will happen is you'll be able to, and remember, this is a stroke brush that we're making here. Um, but what will happen is because it's a texture intensity brush, I can actually change the color of that text where it's white. Okay. So if I go um, and I select my ellipse here, you know, let's say I want to make that yellow. OK, so what you need to know about those in te uh, texture intensity brushes, anything that is completely white is full on color. Anything that is black is not affected at all. And everything else in between black and white, those series of gray colors would be um, the percentage of how much the color affects that object. OK, so hopefully that makes sense. That's it. That's all I have for you today on creating text on a path. Like I said, it'll work in some situations, not everyone's situation, but um, you know, you could try it out and then um, you could adjust some of these things here. You could try masking off parts of it. Um, you know, just kind of play with that, guys. Now, thank you guys for watching my video. Definitely make sure you take some time, hit that subscribe button down there below, hit the like button, leave me a comment. And let me know that you guys like these videos, you're finding them useful, and I'll keep keep them coming, okay? Thanks again for your time. Once again, this is Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you by you. I'm your host, Ronnie McBride, and we'll see you next week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to receive 50% off my training, make sure you sign up at MixedMediaSalad.com.